So one thing that the book Sapiens talks about by Yuval Noah Harari is the cognitive revolution, which happened around 70,000 years ago, where humans gained the ability to imagine. Um, and, and you can see, like, this is the reason why humans rose to the top of the food chain and dominated the entire planet is because we had this ability to imagine. But I think that a big part of what Yuval misses in his book um, and in recent talks that he's given around AI and AGI, he says that the, the main reason why this innovation comes about is, is just because, well, one, humans were able to collaborate across thousands and millions of people and that we were all able to believe these myths and these fictions and imagined things. If you look at any major human achievement, it is always based on large-scale cooperation. It's never the work of a single genius or of like a group of 10 friends. You always need thousands and millions of people cooperating together. But it's like, okay, we can believe these things, but somebody had to create it. Somebody had to, had to think to it up in the first place. create the thing place. that we believe. Yeah, exactly. And it's also, he, he says, like, all innovation didn't just come from one person or ten people. It all came from thousands or millions of people working together. But it's like, you had Einstein sitting on a train thinking up theory of relativity yeah. because he had this ability to imagine that that did not come from millions of people. Like right. I think that there's a big thing missing there in terms of his understanding of where innovation really comes from. You know, no no fault on Yuval here. Like it is difficult to know where innovation comes from because like the human brain is still something we're trying to understand. It's something that people have been have been wondering yeah. as like <laughs> where where does this come from? Is yeah. do we have ideas or do ideas have us are yeah. they living beings a yeah. whole lot of theories yeah this is something we're still trying to understand but i do think that there is a, a big missing piece in terms of his understanding of like what really makes us unique it's creative intelligence which did enable us to work as thousands or millions of people but that's not really where innovation initially spawned for those of you who didn't watch our previous podcast, um, for a quick overview, stop worshiping your brain. It is less remarkable than you think. We are actually taught in school in a very similar way that AI models are trained. There's a big thing missing there in terms of his understanding of where innovation really comes from. These models don't actually understand anything. Stay tuned for part three, where there's three more comments that we want to cover. Um, and so, yeah, really excited for that. <laughs>